NVIDIA has just launched its entry-level Blackwell GPU, the RTX 5050, and after testing the Gigabyte Gaming OC model, I've got some mixed feelings. With the RTX 3060 still sitting as the most used GPU on Steam, I figured it would make sense to compare the two and see if the 5050 actually offers a real upgrade over what's arguably the most common GPU on the planet. Now, looking at the specs alone, the 3060 actually seems stronger. It's got more CUDA cores, more memory, and a wider bus. But as we know, performance isn't always just the numbers on paper. So I upgraded my test bench with faster memory and a new cooler to give both cards the best case scenario and tested them across three modern titles at 1080p and 1440p. Starting with Doom The Dark Ages, the 5050 comes in at around 18% faster than the 3060 at both resolutions. But when you enable frame generation, things really jump. At 1080p, performance shoots up by about 50%. At 1440p though, it's obvious that the 8GB of VRAM becomes a limitation, where performance just falls apart. In Cyberpunk 2077, the 5050 again pulls ahead by about 20%. Frame generation boosts 1080p even further, and at 1440p, it holds together better than in Doom. And then there's Monster Hunter Wilds, where the 5050 doesn't really move the needle that much. It's slightly better at 1080p, but ties with the 3060 at 1440p. And with frame generation turned on, performance actually drops, again likely due to the VRAM bottleneck. So averaging everything out, the 5050 is definitely a bit faster than the 3060, especially at 1080p. And since it launches at a lower price than what the 3060 debuted at, it's not a bad starting point for budget PC gaming. But if you're looking for high frame rates, ray tracing, or playing at 1440p and up, this card just isn't it. The 8GB of VRAM is going to be a problem, and you're probably better off saving for something with a bit more headroom.